Once all this main building framing is complete, you can install the final framing components. Depending on your building, you may or may not have these building options. Please refer to your engineering plans and bill of materials for your specific building configuration. If your building has base angle, it will need to be installed at the edge of the concrete slab at each location where sheeting comes down to the slab as base angle provides a connection point for the sheeting. After applying a section of roll mastic to the bottom of the long leg of the base angle, press the base angle to the slab, then secure the base angle to the slab according to the engineering plans and installation manual. If your building has rake or corner angle, this can be installed on all edges of the building. To install rake angle, place the short leg of the angle over the purlin. Make sure that the face of the rake angle lies flush with the edge of the building, not recessed or hanging out. Once placed properly, install with flat head or pancake head screws, as directed by the installation manual, at each location where the angle intersects the purlin. Once the rake angle is installed, you can install corner angle at each corner location, attaching angle to girts as opposed to the purlins. For more information, please see the installation manual. If your building requires girt or purlin flange bracing, which is indicated on your engineering plans, this can be installed by anchoring the bottom of the girt strap to the concrete and attaching the other end to the eave purlin per the engineering plans. If this is to be installed on the end wall girts, the top of the strap will attach to the end wall rafter. Also, install any purlin flange bracing, which will run from the bottom flange of an eave purlin to the apex of the building to the opposite eave purlin. For exact connection details and requirements, please see your engineering plans and installation manual. Make sure to install any necessary fly bracing at all locations called out by engineering plans. For exact instructions, please see the installation manual.